Hey guys. So I got a couple songs that I just channeled. Um I saw the time 12 22 and then um it was just 122 before I started this video. Um the songs that I got was Wakisha, Money Bag Yo. I'm gonna link them below. Um Wakisha 2. I got the song 2 by Shodi Shodi and um Dice Games. So go in the description and I'm gonna have those songs. Listen to those. So I Clay Divine Master is trying to speak what he want to say. 222 is all about balancing things. Um, also, that song, too, it was about, um, if you look in the video, it was basically about um, a nigga having two girls. So he had a choice between two girls, two, uh, one of them, you know, he had both of them for different things. So... Okay. Mm -mm. So it's definitely something here about Divine Masculine. He's missing you. He's definitely like um he's not defending himself against this energy with his with his child, his family. There's something here about a family. Um let me pull these. So he feels helpless, something like that. Um, so with the song two, it was like at one point, Divine Masculine could have had like a sex addiction. And the reason why he even um, was dealing with the other person, the karmic energy, was because of this. This person feeds his addictions. Um, this person... Sacrifice. Okay. So he regrets sacrificing you to have sex with this person. Or like, you know, like basically he sacrificed a real relationship, a real friendship, um, shit like that for... Um, this relationship now he's sending you telepathic messages and shit like divine masculine um so let's see what does clyde have to say y'all know i call divine masculine clyde and i call the karmic bonnie okay so there's dreams here with endurance keep going so divine masculine could have had a dream and it motivated him to keep keep going on this relationship because he felt like okay also, um, I saw this twice. Divination. Song of the Siren. So, this bitch, um, this bitch, Bonnie, she don't know how to stop. So, she, she gonna keep going with this, um, siren mess. So, she's still in your dreams over here trying to fucking get readings on you. And, um, also, she's infiltrated in the telepathy. So, if you're hearing, um telepathic messages yeah 333 when i said this if you're hearing telepathic messages that is like oh your divine masculine it, it, it sounds like your divine masculine doesn't want to deal with you um i had got this the other day like it was like uh uh it was i had got a, a download and it was like huh like it was like you know like it's some shit that he would never say to me like you know like some shit like that like like bro Y'all bitches is really doing the most here with the tele telepathy and the divination. Are you serious? Song of the Siren? Yeah, because these bitches are sirens. They gonna keep going, keep going until they fucking sacrifice themselves. They they the sacrifice now. Mm-hmm. Um, so they basically trying to okay. No, this is some other shit, bro. Y'all some weirdos. Like y'all karmics are really weird. So this karmics over here trying to get you to to harvest your energy, they're trying to get you to have sex. They want you to have sex with your divine master, but they don't really care like who it is really. I feel like it's just they're trying to harvest your energy cuz they done um but they really want you guys to have sex um with your divine person. What the fuck is this?
Like, I'm sorry. Y'all see my face? <laughs> I really just stopped for a long. Okay. What's going on? What is this? Tell me about this fucking spell work because this is crazy. So it's like a way to harvest your energy. It's like, um, so they have sex. Damn, they're just doing all types of shit. So, so it's like, they're not having sex with, um, your masculine right now. Or if they are, they need you to have sex with him. Like, it's like weird because basically if you stop dealing with your person, it's like, if you stop dealing with your person, they need you to have sex with your person in order to keep up these fucking games. Like, they need something of yours to sacrifice. They need your pussy juices or something. They need something of yours. If you done took all your shit from your masculine house and including, you know, you ain't giving him no coochie, so well, how are they gonna keep going? You know what I'm saying? How are they gonna keep going? How are they gonna keep going? So now they're turning to divination. They're turning... They're, okay, so they got a connection to tep telepathy between you guys. There's a cord. Yeah, there's a cord. Um, they're trying to create blockages. Okay, so basically they have a, they have infiltrated in the telepathy between you guys. Um, and this is because they want to they wanna make sure they know what your guys are doing. Like at all times. Like it's some weird shit. So like, okay, practitioner is here. So say so they paid a practitioner to create blockages. Tell me about this spell work. In your relationship, of course. It's reversing back though. This candle magic that they're doing. So the other the other shit that I got was um the, the song that I got was Dice Games and it said what does it say? It says she wanna blow me like a candle. It's like that. Okay, so this bitch could be doing uh, love spells. Also, your divine masculine is doing love spells on you. So this bitch doing love spells on him. Meanwhile, the shit is backfiring, reversing onto her. So now she's obsessed. Keep doing love spells. But divine masculine is now obsessed with you because that's his karma. Yeah. So, okay. So they could be doing this to your person or... um. This is what the karmic's trying to do to you. Create stress and trauma. Um, deliberate events to create stress and trauma into your life that are rip causing rips into your energy field. Okay, so this candle magic, that's what the candle magic sh could be doing. Um, you guys could have froze this person or you need to. This person also, okay, so in the first um, Waukesha, it says something about don't worry about what's in my cup what's in your cup what's in their cup um just drink it some shit so somebody tried to poison divine masculine because divine feminine not dumb let me stop <laughs> because for real something something here somebody tried to put something in divine masculine's drink or food okay so let me get the energies who who is this So Divine Masculine is now obsessed with you. That song, Waukesha, is all about basically um, Moneybag Yo over here talking about um, I can't let you go type shit. Like, we keep running back um, to each other, shit like that. Or he might ghost you for a little bit and then he'd be right back. It's because, like, tell me, what is the energy that's doing the spell work, Spirit? What is it? What is the energy that's doing the spell work? So they're doing it okay we know for a fact they're doing it on your relationship with venus here this is a, a spiritual attack okay so virgo and sagittarius so it could be a virgo and sagittarius involved they could be getting the ones um spell work being done on them or they could be doing it there's also pluto here pluto has to do okay so that's scorpio energy so it could be a cuss scorpio sag like me um or this person also is trying to kill you with Pluto. Cancer. This could be a mother or it could be a cancer. Fourth house. So this could this is definitely a mother with the fourth house here. Also, somebody fourth house could be in cancer. Somebody Pluto could be in Sag. Twelfth house, secret enemies. Yeah, hidden enemies here. Pisces energy. Pisces. Scorpio. And um 
somebody misusing and abusing their religion and um, philosophies that they learned and also their affiliations with other people. So this is the type of karmic that they, okay, they're living in their South. No, they have past life karma around mysticism, misuse of magic, misusing their philosophies, misusing what the fuck they was taught. Like when they was younger, they don't have no respect. They grow up with no nothing. They grow up with no respect. They grow up with probably, um, you know, old belief systems like, oh, the mother and the father should stay together even if they're unhappy. Some dumb shit like that, right? So they're living out their South Node past karma. they still in their South Node right now. They, um... So this person is engaged in a full-out competition. But it's like a competition to where they don't even care about the masculine anymore. It's literally just like, it's like, it's really on some other shit, bro. I don't know. It's like they, they care about him because that's the only, like, they really trying to, okay. What is their fucking purpose? What is their purpose? Because they're doing the whole most, bro. But they got a whole other situation. Like, look, they won't stop. Like, they're getting divination readings. They're in, they're in your telepathy between you and your divine masculine. But you already left. Divine feminine is not here. She's not here at all. At all. She's not here. She left. All right, so what the fuck is the point? What's the purpose? Because they are under, under car a karmic contract, okay? That's the purpose. They're under a karmic contract to destroy you. What is their purpose, baby? They want to freeze. They want to freeze. Entity attachment. Yeah, okay, so I knew this card was going to pop out spirit. So they're trying to kill you, basically. They're trying to kill you, all right? They, they don't want you to be here. They're trying to... Take your soul and spirit and bring it to the devil. All right? That's the purpose. For anybody that's asking, why are they doing all this? Blah, 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 blah. That is the contract that they signed. Because they let their jealousy, their childhood traumas take over them. Their um, competition complex, whatever, over a, a relationship, get to them. And some of these people is your mother. Some of these people, they're just living out their South Lobe past karma. They could have been like your um your lover in a past life. Like I said, like it's it's very um you should get a past life reading, you know. It's very um or uh, or at least a birth chart reading, you guys. I do birth chart readings. Um, my information is gonna be in my um about me. It's also in my description. So entity attachments. This person is in your dream state. She's in your dream state trying to control your subconscious. Trying to control if you those who so if she controls your subconscious, she controls your actions in real life. So for those of you who think it's not that serious, you're just seeing them in your dream. No, no, no. No. That's what they're trying to do. They have an entity attachment onto you. So how do we um heal this? You need to go outside, you need to cleanse your energy, you need to use crystals, you need to protect yourself, use salt, ground yourself with the earth. There's a lot of karma this bitch is going to receive for harvesting your energy and placing holes into your energy field to reduce your protection. Yeah, she's a narcissist. Fire magic. She could be doing some shit to your pictures. She's doing shit to your pictures. Could have blocked this bitch. Or saying to block this bitch. Take a bath. Okay? I don't... I don't get it. They doing the whole most, but you know I do get it, so it's okay, it's fine. Like it's just so annoying. Like, <laughs> so definitely this person, if they did have sex with your person, um, recently, now, it doesn't even have to be recently. That's the thing. Like a lot of these karmics, I'm getting that they got cut off. They not having sex with your person, but they still, it's like they still, um, they still doing shit to infiltrate your relationship to be in competition with you but at the same like but i think divine feminine left like divine feminine left she's not doing this competition shit but now they need something else to to, to do the competition with you know what i'm saying they still need um they still need you involved in that competition energy so divine masculine because divine masculine basically everything is not nothing is working nothing is working that's what I'm getting. Nothing is working. They're going to keep going, though. They're trying to get readings to see how the fuck they could do this. How they could execute their plan. Alright, so let's see. 
Nah, this is a mess. So I saw a 12.22, and then I saw, then I heard the um, song 2, then Waukesha, then Dice Games, then I saw a 1.22. So, 2.22 two is all about balancing, so he wants to come balance things with you. I think that he is like, okay, so he's missing you, and he's feeling very vulnerable. So what is, what is the fine masculine? What is he trying to say? What's, what's the fine masculine want, spirit? What's he want? What's he feeling? Farewell to the moon. Fertility. So Divine Maslin, for some of y'all, he want to get you pregnant. Uh, well, not for some of y'all. Of course, he wants to get you pregnant, probably. Fair word to the moon. Appreciate and enjoy the lunar light cycle. So, so for some of you guys, you guys were on your period or something. Crossing deep waters. So he wants to take a journey as well. He feels very... Um, he may want to go like somewhere with you. Far away from these people. That he has to defend himself from. I'm just trying to figure out... He's not. He's missing you. So he's not defending himself against this... Um, karmic energy. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe... He, okay, so... Telepathy and Germans. Reclaiming authenticity. I feel as if you guys are in this basically this energy that is like, oh, I'm just gonna like, you know. Um, take my time to myself and enjoy my privacy and reclaim who I am. Like, you're taking your power back type shit. Like, you know. Alright. It's a lot of secrets. But Divine Master is very much in love. Rituals. Okay, so he's secretly doing rituals. Alright. This is secret. All right, let me get the tarot because this is what Divine Master is trying to do. I guess he's just trying to do this to get you back. But um, what's the five of cups, spirit? Ooh, what the fuck? Okay, so I see that he left someone out in the cold and this could be a family member. Or um, this could be his family, like, you know, he's leaving. Because that shit fell on the um, Ten of Cups. And then I see Six of Cups and the Fool. So he wants to take a risk with someone from the past. And this is the Empress here and the Devil in Reverse, which is releasing himself from, from this Devil energy, this Karmic energy. Yeah. Also, he feels foolish. There's something about a child. Like I said, if this child is not his, he's going to find out. All right, yeah, and he's going to release the burden. I'm gonna release it. Somebody here got bad luck. They've been trying to block. They can no longer block what's going on. This is karmic justice. Who this devil energy has bad luck now. Yeah, this Queen of Wands, period. She was trying to block. She's nothing else she could do. Look, she's doing the whole most. This the best thing she could do is take her child and get the fuck up out of here before um God come top tap that ass, but it don't matter. She can't run. Justice is coming. She can't run. You can't hide. The magician in reverse. Yeah. This bitch was over here fucking doing um controlling, controlling spells like domination spells on divine masculine. She's doing like uh think about me spells like you see that on the head, top of her head, like oh, she's she's um. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. And this is all about money. It's all about money. All right. 
But I have a friend in reverse. She's refusing to learn her spiritual lesson. Everybody has a spiritual lesson that they have to learn. Like, these karmics don't understand. Like, they become karmics when they let their childhood wounds and their um jealousy and competition and stuff, like, consume them to the point where they forget what they were supposed to learn out of the relationship, out of the situation. We're all supposed to learn out of these situations. Like, Divine Feminine took her lesson. She done, you know, basically did her self-care, her self-love, whatever. Started her business and shit like that. And the karmic is over here, still over here doing the same shit, bro. She's still doing the same shit. Sneaking, lying, cheating. Not fucking doing nothing different. Trying to control divine masculine. She thought she was a privileged person. That's what she thought. But she's going to receive judgment now. Yeah, the alarm is being sound on this bitch. In court. In court. This bitch going to jail. If I don't know, it could be spiritual jail. But somebody's going to somebody's lover is going to jail. It's Queen of Swords here. Something here about the truth is coming out about this bitch. This bitch is a whore. And she's a liar. She's a liar and a whore. That's what it says. I can't make this shit up. She getting judged in court. She can't get away with the shit no more. Divine Master is definitely not having sex with this bitch. He's releasing this third party. Period. Okay, so something here about Okay, the tower fell out in reverse. So I feel like somebody tried to offer like Divine Master like a threesome or something, but he avoided it. Like, I don't know. Something here. Spirit, confirm that for me. What's up with this threesome? Yeah, some something here. What's the four of wands? The emperor. So he could have had a... Um, there's no communication with this person that he lives with. Something about somebody that he lives with. This is threesome energy. is like, um, this is a king of swords here. This king of swords is uh, it, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. There's no communication with this with this emperor right now. Um, with the karmic, because he wants to come offer you something. He see he views you as happiness, but also there's a separate energy here. This is a person that may come message you. So who is this king of swords for? Who is this King of Swords? The Queen of Cups. Okay, so somebody wants to message you because you. Okay, no, this is your person. So this King of this King of Swords is the King of Cups. So this King of Cups is basically like very emotional. He cut off he cut off this energy because the Queen of Swords is here too, and the Queen of Cups is here. So I'm getting that divine feminine stopped having sex with divine masculine and now she's dealing with someone else. She has a new lover and divine masculine is in spiritual jail. Okay. There's going to be judgment in a court case though and there's judgment on this karmic. Um, there's going to be a cycle that's going to be ending. There's going to be a lot of drama. A lot of drama. There's a lot of fights. There's also King of Wands here. So Divine Masculine could like try to like um, confront your new person or something. Or um, so he views you as a missed opportunity. He, his intuition, he's like, um, okay. So your intuition told you to release this um, relationship, Divine Feminine. Because you wasn't getting what you deserve, period. And there was too many secrets. Plus, this person, um, this person lies too much. Like he lies too much, bro. He do, he do the most. There's a bunch of fucked up communication as well. So he could have like, I don't know. Um, he could have exchanged words that was like very, very fucking rude. Uh, cursed you out. You could have cursed him out. Something like that. But but the relationship ended here with the high priestess. Something is off balance. That's why two 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 I saw. 
So something needs to be balanced. And the scales are balancing right now. So divine feminine basically divine masculine is watching divine feminine and he and he know that you got options. <laughs> you got new love, you got mad um options here. And you ended it. And now I see someone um could be like okay so like you ended it because like, he was being the king of wands and he was being um you felt like he was being a hoe but it's saying that this person did avoid things but they were still like doing bullshit like they was avoiding like things with this karmic but they were still doing bullshit so they were still the king of wands so they was like a player but it was like a mature player like you know so your intuition told you this and you're like nah whatever you're trying to say right now this is bullshit so divine um you ended it it you ended it with this person and he basically he feels like he's he's like balanced the situation now he's obsessed now he's obsessed okay so what is this nine of wands the swords nine of swords so now he's watching you and he wants to rush in with communication and he wants to give you this love offer because now he feels like you have mad love offers with the two of cups now he feels like he can't wait anymore okay so let's see what is divine masculine's actions gonna be because we don't got time to be over here with the how does he feel how does he feel and he don't do shit you know <laughs> so what is his actions Cause fuck how you feel is you real like is you gonna tell us what the fuck nobody care you can do all the telepathy you fucking want let me see um hmm what deck should i use should i do tarot no yeah i'll do i'll just do tarot so what is this action it's gonna be spirit what's divine masculine's actions going to be towards divine feminine Archangel Michael, I call you and I ask you to please protect me while I channel these energies. Thank you. So, what is Divine Masculine actions going to be towards Divine Feminine? This is going to be a prediction for July. We dealing with any of those signs. Virgo, Sagittarius, Pisces, um... I believe that was all the signs that I picked out. I believe. So, I see Ace of Pentacles and there's an Ace of, there's an Ace of Swords that just popped out. So, Ace of Swords is all about the truth. So, there's going to be some information coming out. Exposure. Exposure with the moon. Yeah, something's getting exposed on a public platform, period. About a family. About a family. Can't make this shit up. Boop. So, he's releasing this bitch. He's releasing the devil. He's going to be in despair. He's going to be brokenhearted. Yeah. He knows things have not ended with you. Could be a Scorpio. He's going to be heartbroken about this. This judgment. Yeah. King of... Yeah, but he's going to come tell you. He strategically has been planning um, to come towards you, but he didn't know how. So, now he has the truth. He can come. What's the judgment? He wants to come give you this ace of pentacles yeah like i said i saw that it's a star so he wants to heal this relationship he wants to work on it and then he wants to have sex too okay because a lot of y'all divine masculine are withdrawing from you they're like literally addicted they withdrawing right now they need some healing this could be a virgo he wants to talk about a relationship but really they want yeah they want to work on it they want to heal this all right, so yeah. They know that this bitch was over here blocking the relationship. There's no communication with that bitch anymore because she was blocking the relationship the whole time. Yeah, he's leaving. He's leaving to calm her waters because there's magic being done. She was controlling him with the hierophant. She got a she there was a priest. She was working with a coven, a group of people, friends family whatever she was working with a group of people that she could have lived with or something like that 
All right. So what about this Carmen? Page of Wands. Page of Cups. Bitch is gonna feel so fucking dumb, bro. I'm just saying, like, she's gonna feel so fucking dumb. She's gonna be drinking her ass off. That's what she's gonna be doing. Page of Wands. So she might do some childish shit. And she might fucking actually, like, um. Damn, I don't think she's gonna apologize, though. But there's something here about the money she's gonna get cut off from. She's gonna feel so stupid, bro. I'm just saying. Yeah. The fool with the four a four of swords. Wow. Okay, so she's gonna get sick. So this is her karma spare. What is her karma? She's gonna be forced to think about yeah, this could be a Pisces or a Gemini. So she's gonna be forced to think about this relationship over and over again. That's what she's gonna be thinking about. See. Also Divine Masculine. He finna put you to bed, bed, bed. Mm, 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 mm. so yeah and she's forced to watch our relationship yeah that's her karma the sun you guys are gonna be happy ever after the cycle has ended or will be ending with this king of cups he's in love with the high priestess yeah you already know that though he was coming. He was doing. He was being too slow. So I feel like, oh, oops, oops, plot twist. Oh shit! Divine feminine don't want you. All right. So you mean try to come through with the night? Nobody want no night. The high priestess. So you intuitively know that he's coming towards you, but this is a missed opportunity because he was taking too long. Knight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you know that he um he was taking too long to, to leave this bitch. So now you want to explore your options. Okay. Yeah, but he's willing to do anything now. The Empress. You see the Empress? The Seven of Swords. Yeah. I mean, the Five of Swords is all about competition. So now he feels like there's competition. It could be a Sagittarius here. It's a third party. He wants to cause a tower. So like I said, he's doing love spells. So he could be doing, um he's doing conflict spells. And I just, ooh. I was gonna say that and this shit came out. He's doing conflict spells on your new relationship to cause a tower. What's the why is the wheel of fortune here, bro? <laughs> that is swords. Okay, so now we got the Queen of Pentacles over here coming to tell you some bullshit. What's she coming to say? How she ended the how she's ending the relationship or he's not giving to her anymore that's what she's gonna say he's not giving to her anymore she he's the knight of swords which is a he's very he don't give a fuck about her like what he say to her bro that shit is so foul like i wouldn't even want to be around like when he says some shit like that to her but that's not right but i'm saying like karmika um you know bonnie you deserve that shit you stabbed him in the back okay and you left him hanging there fucking stupid looking dumb he looks stupid wow so when he comes towards you it's like okay so she's gonna come towards you Ooh, she mad okay so this is what happened so she gonna come towards you she want to try and cause conflict she's like oh basically like oh he does not give it to me anymore oh like he's a cheater Oh, he's confused. He still want to be with me. Even though a child not his. <laughs> I doubt it. So she's going to try and come tell you some bullshit, some information, right? About how he's confused and this and that and this and that. But he ended it. That's the truth of the matter. He ended it. This Queen of Pentacles is just... It's the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, she wants him to juggle. So you can't see it, but it was uh, 
six cups. So he's leaving. He's leaving to go back to something from the past. Period. Temperance. Sagittarius again. Things are being orchestrated. I didn't want to say that before, but like this is like divinely orchestrated. So it was supposed to happen like this. Temperance with the King of Pentacles. So he is coming towards you. He's looking back at his investments. He's looking back at He's trying to like um plan some things with the emperor here. So this could be about his business. So he could be letting go of his of a business responsibility burden. Some of y'all divine masters is going to jail behind this karmic. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all my divine masters is going to jail. She's gonna try and say some bullshit. She's gonna try and call the police or some shit. They could try and get. They could basically. Okay, if this person tries to reach out to your person, it could be that she's reaching out to your person saying some bullshit about you, Divine Feminine. So if she does that, it's going to cause conflict because it's like he don't even want to speak to her because this baby not his. He don't want to speak to you. So this is going to cause a tower with this five of, five of Wands here. And this is orchestrated. This is all orchestrated. And when I say orchestrated, I mean... Spirit allow this to occur for a reason with this Queen of Cups here that's emotionally manipulative. Don't end up in jail, um, um, divine masculine. Don't end up in jail because I see, I see over here cop cars and 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 and, and all types of shit. Okay, don't end up in the jail behind this bitch and her fucking illusions and her spells. Okay, King of Wands, just i i know you want to i know you want to smack her just just leave her alone bro just leave her alone go back to um i know you don't want to face the vibe feminine yet but you're gonna have to leave justice with the with the queen of wands so it's like okay queen of swords not a pentacle so Your divine feminine is single and she is waiting for you. She's waiting for justice because she's very confident in herself. Yeah. She's very confident. And she's saying, like, basically, she's very defensive, though. She could be a Scorpio. She knows that this is a past life relationship, but you didn't, like, you need to fight for the relationship. She feels, she feels that you should have regret for dealing with this Queen of Wands energy. And she she deserves justice. That's what she feels. So if you're not trying to come, correct, don't come at all. That's all I'm saying. Cause she's touchy too right now. Like your karmic is honestly just not shit though. Like your karmic is I mean, divine feminine would never react the way that this bitch does. She would never do half the shit this bitch does at all. Like she just doesn't operate that way. Like bitch, it's not your kid, so it's not his kid, so leave him alone. I don't get it. Now you want to still keep going. You want to still keep going, right? Hmm. So, like I said, we're dealing with a, a, a Sagittarius, a Virgo, a Scorpio, a Pisces, and I see Aquarius energy in Aries. A lot of Aquarius and Aries. Okay, and Cancer. Yes, I forgot I said that earlier, too. 